Welcome to MLSQR. We'll present the basic test methodology for the CH50 hemolytic titration assay for complement. We will mention the clinical value and follow up with a couple of Q&As that are similar to the ones in our AZP study guide. The hemolytic titration assay, or CH50, measures the amount of patient serum required to lyse 50% of a standardized concentration of reagent antibody sensitized sheep red blood cells. Because all nine complement proteins are required for hemolysis, a qualitative or quantitative deficiency of any one complement protein will cause an abnormal CH50 result of zero activity. FYI, there is a complement assay for the alternative pathway, also known as the AH50. The CH50 uses sheep red blood cells, whereas the H50 uses rabbit red blood cells. What does sensitized sheep red blood cells mean, and how do we sensitize sheep red blood cells? Sensitized sheep red blood cells means that the reagent sheep RBCs are coated with reagent antibody, which are rabbit monoclonal antibodies against the sheep red blood cell antigens. When a patient serum with complement is mixed with the sensitized sheep red blood cells, we expect a serological reaction called hemolysis. To perform the CH50 assay, we get serum from either a red top or yellow top collection tube with gel serum separator. Setting up our titration, we perform serial dilutions with veronal buffered saline and add a standard reagent sensitized sheep red blood cells with monoclonal anti-sheep red blood cell antigens coating the red blood cells. We incubate at room temp for 15 minutes and don't forget the positive, negative, blank, and hemolysin controls. Then incubate in a warm water bath at 37 degrees for 30 minutes. Make sure it is not 56 degrees because this will inactivate complement. We observe a gradient of hemolysis where there is more hemolysis at lower dilutions and higher titers of complement. The higher the dilution, the less hemolysis we'll see until we see only a cell button at the bottom because the complement activity is too weak to hemolyze the sensitized sheep red blood cells at this level. The higher the complement titer, the more hemolysis we see at higher dilutions because the complement is very strong at these dilutions to cause hemolysis of the sheep red blood cells. Measure absorbance with a spectrophotometer using Beer's Law. Optical density is taken. Calculate and plot a graph of percent hemolysis versus dilution. The titration at 50% hemolysis is the final titer. In this example, 40. Our interpretation is at the reciprocal of the dilution, which is expressed in CH50 activity units. The CH50 is a valuable test with limitations. It's valuable for screening for complement abnormalities and congenital complement deficiencies. And it is very useful for monitoring and tracking inflammatory diseases such as lupus and rheumatoid arthritis. FYI, individual complement testing by ELISA can measure C3, C4, C3A, and C5A anaphylatoxins, and there is a soluble MAC assay for the membrane attack complex. And now for the questions and answers, which are similar but not exactly like the ones in our AECP study guide.